Hi and welcome again to another tutorial. This is Professor Mogal and this is part 4 of Digital Logic Simulator app. Um, remember, if you haven't watched the other videos, I really encourage you to start with part 1 so you can basically understand because I'm not really going to go over the graphic user uh, interface here. But if you recall, the uh, if you've been a part of my digital electronics lecture series, this is lecture number 20 with a two example based on finite state machine. One of them was a vending machine and that's what it is and we are going to create this vending machine the property of this vending machine is if the dollar bill goes up the cost of this drink is 75 cents and therefore the drink output will go high and because 75 cents for the drink dollar has been deposited change due is 25 cents and that's what you see on the screen one quarter is due one quarter being 25 cents and that is going to be returned at the time uh, the drink is dispensed okay so every falling edge of the clock it detects the input input being dollar bill high it's going to dispense the drink and also going to return the change uh, which is 25 cents in this case if I turn the dollar bill zero and turn the quarter on now now quarter being 25 cents whenever the every falling edge of the clock arrive it detects a quarter which would mean every three cycles when three quarters have been detected 75 cents have been deposited and that's where the drink uh, LED goes on and the quarter is uh, quarter due would be zero because that's the price of the drink now remember the pro one of the property of this, this uh, vending machine is whenever the 75 cents have been deposited or drink has been deposited it's going to reset itself and goes back to zero now if you look at it I have dollar bill and quarter both high at the same time and I'll show you later in this video what would be the transition sequence so a dollar bill is high quarter is high for every cycle whenever the dollar and a quarter is detected it's going to uh, see if the amount is greater than 75 cents which is going to be the case in every case and the quarter due that you see on the screen is the amount of quarters due so when it's displaying three that means one dollar and fifty cents have been deposited when it's displaying two that means one dollar and twenty five cents have been deposited and fifty cents is the change so these are the um, number of quarters that will be due at the time when the drink is dispensed let me take you back to lecture number 20 of the digital electron lecture series this is the same example that we did there and i really encourage you so if you learn what want to learn about the theory uh you might want to listen to this watch this lecture and i uh, think so you get a better understanding of it but that's what we are creating today using digital logic simulator app so what is the property of this vending machine dispenses drink after 75 cents is deposited once 75 cents have been deposited it basically going to reset itself so it goes back to zero okay so one thing to remember it can also return the change if needed and it's only going to accept quarters and a dollar bill so it can accept co coin and a paper money as well a single slot for the machine so only accepts one coin at a time here is the transition sequence that i can uh just quickly go over it one of the options user could go with with just three straight quarters okay 75 cents no change due second option could be two quarters and then followed by a dollar bill in that case the uh, amount of money deposit is one dollar and fifty cents so the change due would be 75 cents third option could be a uh, user inserting a dollar uh, a quarter 25 cents and then a dollar and in that case one dollar and 25 cents have been deposited this would mean the change due at the time the drink is di uh, dispensed would be 50 cents and similarly the last option could be user could simply just have one dollar inserted and 75 cents for the drink so 25 cents due uh, and that will be it so there are four possible uh, transition sequence remember anytime this uh, output is dispensed drink uh, it reset so you need two bits c1 c0 because we have four possible dues uh, 0 0 would mean 0 cents due uh, 0 1 would mean 25 cents due uh, 1 0 50 cents and 1 1 would mean 75 cents due at the time of the drink being dispensed depending upon the input which would be a dollar bill or a quarter um, so uh, I also have the state diagram right here uh, from the same lecture that I'm going to show you. Uh, let's scroll down here. Yeah, and uh, followed by the state table. I'm not going to go over it in detail because I would want you to watch that lecture. Here are uh, the expressions for the next states. Okay, uh, Q1 and Q0 asterisk. Uh, K is our drink output. Remember, B is the dollar bill here and Q is the quarter. 
okay and c1 c0 would represent the change due here is the implementation using d flip flop we use two d flip flops here um, and this combination circuit that you saw was basically derived from these equation that i just encircle okay so our today's goal is to create this sequential circuit diagram using digital logic circuit simulator okay so without wasting much time let's get started let's get rolling okay So finally, we have our vending machine ready and I'm just gonna quickly go over it. So on your left, you see your dollar bill and quarter right up there on the top left. And below that, you see your clock. On the right, you have the output K, uh, drink. Again, 75 cents deposited, drink is going to be dispensed, means LED goes on. You also have C1 and C0 that reflects change. And on the right, you have the LCD screen that displays change uh, number of quarters due. Now when the dollar bill goes high means a dollar has been deposited drink is going to be dispensed so that goes high C1 is going to be 0 and C0 is going to be 1 because that's how we set the logic 0 1 represents 25 cents due and that's for therefore uh, it's displaying 1 on the 7th segment so let's go back to the lecture remember when we were doing the transition sequence there were four possible changes if change which is C1 C0 being 0 1 25 cents due and that's what we saw in the simulation okay all right so C1 being 0 C0 being 1 uh, represents 25 cents now if the dollar bill and quarter both goes high at the same time remember this cannot happen but just for the sake of explanation I wanted to go with dollar bill and quarter both being high at the same time because it only accepts one input at one time in that case when dollar bill and quarter goes high, it's actually going to uh, have the uh, drink LED on all the time because the uh, the input is always going to be more than 75 cents. And for every falling edge of the clock, it detects a number of quarter and therefore it changes the number of quarters due at the time uh, drink is being dispensed. So if it's displaying um, three, that means uh, $1.50 were deposited and 75 cents were due. Now I'm going to change the logic to quarter now. Now notice dollar bill is zero, quarter is one. Uh, for every three cycles means three quarters being deposited, 70, 75 cents went in, Dollar uh, the drink goes high, the change due will be zero because that's what the cost of the drink. Also same thing if you look at the simulation and if you focus on the drink K, LED 4 for every three cycle when three quarters are detected the output K goes high because 75 cents would mean drink is supposed to be dispensed change is going to be zero because that's what the cost of the uh, drink is I hope you enjoyed this video this was a fantastic uh, winding machine that we created uh, it's very simple very easy to understand again if you want to know more about it watch the lecture number 20 of my digital electronic lecture series thanks again for watching have a wonderful day and enjoy your weekend